All right, I'm here with Tony Carafa, uh, somebody who helped land a project with JPL and NASA, uh, you know, landing a rover on Mars just recently. So, Tony, why don't you tell us how you and Crestron contributed to getting those first images from Mars back down to Earth? Hey, Brad, thanks for having me. Uh, so we, we have an NVX system that we put in place for these mission support areas, and the NVX serves as the video backbone. Uh, so when these first images came uh, after the after the EDL, after the, Mar the rover landed on Mars, these first images were uh, received by these workstations in the mission support area uh, that were connected NVX transmitters. Uh, and then this, the NVX backbone was used to uh, project the images, but also transmit the images through to their broadcast into the live stream. So these first of a kind images, first of a kind images that you saw on the live stream were actually transmitted through Crestron as the first few links in the chain. Yeah. So you were in the room, right? Uh, so no pressure. You know, people have worked 10 years or longer, <laughs> decades uh, to get these images and you're responsible for that infrastructure. What was it? What was it like to be in the room? Yeah. You know, it, it's exhilarating to be a part of that and to be in the room. It's it's very intense. You know, the ten you can cut the tension with a knife. Uh, at that point, you're really in the set it and, and forget it phase. And that's that's true for my team. And it's true for the Mars rover team. I mean, you want to talk about automation. These guys do automation. They automated this entire entry, descent and landing sequence. So nothing you could do at that point. It's hands off. It's fingers crossed. And you hope it all worked. Uh, luckily, it was a success and the team was thrilled. Yeah, that's great. So I think that, you know, naturally everybody, when you imagine a mission control center, you imagine all of these screens and all of this content that's coming in. And so, you know, that clearly is driven by NVX, right, uh, across all of those screens? Yes, that's right. And so how does, how does Flex come into this project? You know, you had all of those in the mission control center, but then how did you take that with Flex into the rest of the building? Well, so th this design was a multi-mission design. Uh, Mars 2020 was the first mission to use the space, but the original requirements were there's 45 rooms and they all had to have, the, you know, and the, and the rooms vary from conference room to war room to the large mission support uh, uh, multi-purpose use areas. Um, so they all had requirements for uh, web conferencing, uh, voice teleconferencing. So the, the Crestron Mercury was an elegant solution for this. It helped really reduce the infrastructure footprint, the, the, the equipment footprint, and give them a product that they actually have already purposed on, on lab. Uh, JPL and Crestron worked together a couple of years ago to get the uh, Mercury certified for use on their network. So it was something they had a familiarity with. So it was kind of a no brainer for us to say, let's let's put these in these small spaces. It's something that solves the problem in one elegant solution for the whole space. But then the challenge beyond that was they were looking for centralized video distribution. They wanted to be able to share video from any room to any room. So we augmented these NV, uh, sorry, Mercury systems with uh, an NVX, uh, NVX 350 in line with the display so that from a custom touch panel on the wall, the user can choose to share their video with another room via the NVX backbone, or they can choose to view video um, that has been shared with them. Uh, so it's an easily, a, 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 easy user functionality uh, for that kind of collaboration. And that worked out really well. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Now, also, if you think about a mission control center, the image that I conjure up in my mind doesn't seem very COVID friendly. Uh, and, you know, we landed the rover uh, right in the middle of this pandemic. And how did, how did that work out for you at, as you were trying to adjust to these new protocols? Yeah, um, I think that's a really interesting part of the, about this project. We actually came up with this design and concept in 2019, uh, completely prior to COVID. We began commissioning in March of 2020. Uh, so, you know, at the time, JPL went on mandatory work from home. Uh, we were, you know, the only mission that was still operational at the time on lab. So we were able to continue doing our work. But the Mars 2020 team didn't move in until July uh, in preparation for the launch. So 
they moved when they moved in they were under covid protocols that hadn't obviously hadn't been in place prior to that right when the system was designed or the project was was conceived so um they had to spread out you, you've seen probably video of uh other landings or other operations where you've got rows and rows of workstations and you've got engineers and physicists and 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 all the teams are right next to each other on headsets we can't we couldn't do that anymore rooms that would have had 30 people now could have five people so uh fortunately uh, because of the flexible nature of the design we were able to spread out and repurpose rooms that would have been used for maybe just conferencing now there's people in here with their workstations and everyone can can share video uh between rooms and communicate and it, it ended up making it a uh, kind of minimal impact on the mission um thankfully because uh, they had a launch window they couldn't miss you know so yeah, that is definitely hybrid work to the extreme. Right. right? Yeah. It makes makes me going home and working sound far simpler. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, that's great. Well, Tony, thank you for walking us through this project. I think it's a really exciting and in- interesting project, and we look forward to the future missions and and future work out there on Mars. Great. Thanks for having me, Brad.